Check, 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 check.
like start a pause on like oh no what if live. <laughs> Take this table off. Now 
How is it straight? Because Andy will notice this. Not straight. I don't think it's. You want to go take your eye? Hey. Anna Shaw. Oh, where'd she go? Oh yeah, she okay. She did it for us. Anna Shaw. Yeah. All right. So you just cut off. Is there? Do you want to cut off at Mickey or Kylie? Is there a pen? That's what I asked. I don't think there is one. I mean, she has one. Schneider has a pen. Where do you want to cut off? Yeah. Do you want me to say Kylie, or do you want me to? Yeah, start with Ky Kylie, because that'll give me two names to get back to my chair. Oh, yeah, you have to get there. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to say Mickey then, too? Just so you're not, like, rushing? Yeah. Well, I have Kylie and Bergen, and they're both going to have to walk across the stage. So oh, I should that's be fine. true. Yeah, you're fine. So I'll stop at... Is there a pen? Borrow that pen quick. Yes. Yeah, I'm just marking off where we're gonna switch. Rhina Key. Okay, that's the one with my messed up. I don't want to do a mic check. No, I'm not doing that. Can I put this back?
you want your pen? Okay. Okay, it's down there for now. I just have a question. Is it pronounced endeavors? Okay, I don't want to say that. And then, are we, all of us are supposed to have something under our seat and then Addie's comes from here. Gotcha. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay, because I need to pull the gloves for that.
Good evening. My name is Addison Hammes, and on behalf of the National Honor Society of North High School, I would like to welcome you to our induction ceremony this evening. Before we begin our ceremony, I would like to introduce those who joined me on stage. Although we will more formally introduce Mr. Keith Lehman, our guest speaker, later in our program, we do want to thank him at this time for sharing this occasion with us. We will begin the program by presenting the members who have qualified this year for induction to Fargo North's chapter of the National Honor Society. Membership in the National Honor Society is earned by the effective demonstration of four important qualities, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. This emblem of the National Honor Society is the torch, which represents truth and knowledge. Each of our new members has earned the right to carry the torch of knowledge by exemplifying the, qu the qualities of the National Honor Society. Each of these qualities will now be explained. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student committed to scholarship is willing to spend hours in reading and study knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should each continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends only with life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success and can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of a day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. A student who demonstrates a willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition is a quality that we seek in our members. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow, even after our time in high school is done. Leadership means having an overall wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership, however, is sacrifice. The willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus always striving to lead is a charge to each of our members. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives each one individuality. Without character, no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is steadily developed and grows. Whoa. It is the, fo the force of this character which guides one through life and one wants to develop grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action and daily striving to make the right choice. We must be, in reality, what we wish to appear to be to others. By demonstrating such qualities as reliability, honesty, and sincerity, our members prove by example that we value character. You have just heard the four principles of the National Honor Society. Scholarship, service, leadership, and character. 
Will our new inductees please rise along with our current senior members at this time? National Honor Society inductees and senior members, at this time, will you please turn to face our guests and repeat this pledge after me. I pledge myself, I pledge myself. Always, to always to seek the light of truth, light of truth. To, hold habits, to hold scholarly habits, to engage in worthy service, in service. to others in my school, to be true to the principles of the National Honor Society. You may turn around now. Also joining us on stage is North High's administrative team. If you would please stand as I call your names. Mr. Dolan, Dr. Seaslack, Mr. Blanchin, and Mr. Christensen. We certainly appreciate your attendance tonight. Please also welcome my fellow speakers and classmates as they stand to be recognized today. Kimberly Cattermas, Maggie Benson, Abby Simonson, and Anna Shalouz. It is now my privilege to introduce this evening's guest speaker. Our guest speaker has seven pairs of pants, three pairs of shoes, 10 shirts, and one Santa Claus tie. He may give you extra credit if you can determine this, the probability that he's not wearing the tie. We are honored to have Mr. Keith Lehman as our guest speaker this evening. Mr. Lehman is a 2013 graduate of Fargo North. When he was a student at North, Mr. Lehman was the president of the student council, a member of the National Honor Society, a member of the orchestra, and a cross-country and track athlete. After graduation, he went on to earn an undergraduate degree in mathematics and mathematics education, and afterward his master's degree. He began his teaching career in 2017 when he returned to North High School, this time as a teacher. Currently, Mr. Lehman teaches Algebra 1, math in, math in Action, and AP Statistics. He also serves as, as an assistant cross-country coach and the head girls track and field coach. In 2020, Mr. Lehman was named the North High Teacher of the Year. Please let me give a warm welcome to Mr. Keith Lehman. I heard the second part of that, but not the entertaining first part, so thank you for that, Addison. Um, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, like uh, Addison mentioned, my name is Keith Lehman. Uh, currently, I am a teacher here at North High, uh, and I'm also a proud product of Fargo Public Schools. Uh, I actually went to Washington, and then I went to Ben Franklin, and then North High. Four years after that, I'm back here as a teacher, so uh, great to be here tonight. Um, when Mrs. Schneider asked me before spring break if I would consider speaking tonight to share some words of wisdom, as she put it, uh, I felt equally uh, gracious for that, but also extremely underqualified to give anything resembling words of wisdom. Um, at 26 years old, I still feel like I'm mostly just going with the flow uh, and pretending that I know how to be a grown-up. Uh, as an educator, I continually question my own decisions and rack my brain over the best way to explain, illustrate, and communicate the most important concepts in a way that is just as informative as it is memorable and meaningful. Uh, however, in the time spanning from high school to life today, I have learned some valuable lessons that, as a junior or senior in high school, I wish that I would have known. Uh, and the first one is that you do not need to know what you want to do as a lifelong career, even as you enter the workforce or start college next year or in two years. Uh, when I left here at North High as a student, I didn't know what I wanted to be or what I wanted to do with the rest of my life, but I did know one thing, I never wanted to take a math class ever again. That's a true story. I did not want to take math ever again. Um, I was decent at math in high school, but the thought of taking college-level math courses scared me to the point where I was flipping through the program of studies at all the NDSU majors uh, to find one that required little or no math at all. Uh, after changing my major four times and 
parents, you're going to love when your kid changes majors again and again and again. No nerves at all right there. Um, I settled on health and physical education, and after meeting with an advisor who told me that job availability in that area would be pretty sparse, uh, she urged me to minor in another content area so that I could double major and maybe be more marketable. Uh, so I settled on math since I did okay on that in high school. After I realized I wasn't completely incapable of college level math classes, I switched over to majoring in math education and eventually ended up in a double major in that as well as pure mathematics. Uh, so moral of the story there, you may think that you know what you want to do or where you want to go right now in life, uh, but keep an open mind. My open mind has led me to a job and a career that I hope to have for the rest of my working life. Second piece of advice I have for you is uh, that a genuine thank you will go a long way and you should never give up an opportunity to say or send a thank you card. Uh, no one is able to achieve everything in, in their life without at least some support and guidance from somebody else. Uh, if you think back to all of that you've achieved already in your lifetimes, uh, you can, or excuse me, if you tr trace the progression of those achievements back to their origins, you'll likely see that you picked up some support in the form of time, money, advice, or, help, or a helping hand for each of them along the way. One of the most meaningful thank yous I've ever been on the receiving end of was from a student I had as a first year teacher. Uh, she wasn't necessarily a strong math student, but she showed up every day and gave her best effort. Uh, and one day, she found me in the hallway and she said that she would be moving to another region of the country that next day. Uh, as I expressed my sadness and wished her the best, she handed over an envelope and said goodbye. Later on, at the end of the day, I had an opportunity to open that envelope, and inside were two full sheets of notebook paper covered on both sides with her handwriting, expressing how grateful she was to have had me as a teacher, that I was always patient with her, always willing to have conversation, and ultimately, that I never gave up on her. In the time of having her as a student, I knew I, I, knew I was doing these things, but I didn't realize how much of an impact it was actually having on her. Money, personal su success, and achieving goals are great, but no feeling in the world is better than when somebody expresses genuine gratitude to you for the work that you've done. Seek out those, op excuse me, seek out those who have, have and will help you and recognize and thank them for the impact they've made. It's easy and it will mean the world to them. The third and final piece of advice I have is that you should not, in the midst of all the chaos after high school, uh, forget to visit or call home. Uh, I imagine that many of our inductees tonight have at some point during this year wondered how on earth the last 12 or 13 years of schooling have gone by so quickly. The joy and excitement you experienced in your six years as, uh, excuse me, your, yep, six years as an elementary student suddenly shifted into the anticipation and anxiousness of becoming a middle school student. In the midst of learning, growing up and plenty of awkwardness in middle school. Uh, those three years flew by and suddenly you were in high school. Participation in activities, academics, out of school obligations and life were not likely smooth sailing all the way through and yet you are here today as either a junior or senior knocking on the door of life's next stage for you. Well, if you think that the years in high school have flown by quickly, then hang on for life after high school. Uh, one minute, you're going to be a freshman at NDSU living in Reed Johnson Hall, and then the next time, uh, you're going to wake up from a nap, and you're going to be a teacher, not a student at North High, and Mrs. Volk is going to be your colleague, not your math pre-calc teacher, and Mr. Dolan is going to be your boss and not your principal. Uh, it'll happen, if you're lucky, yeah, okay. Uh, when you're five years old, a year is 20% or a really significant portion of your life, but by the time you reach 25, a year is just 4% of your life. Uh, as every year passes, a year becomes a smaller proportion of your lifespan and therefore it passes by even more quickly. It is easy to be consumed in the new and exciting things that happen to you in the fast-paced time after high school, but don't ever forget to check in and visit home. Be on the lookout for subtle comments from family members about how they could use some help changing a light bulb or how they could never make it through a full gallon of milk ever since you left. Take these as a hint that they miss you and they want to hear from you. 
What I'm going to leave you with tonight is uh, the, from the last pages of my favorite children's book, uh, The Giving Tree. Uh, for those who are in my AP Stats class as a senior or junior, um, this is typically how I end the school year. So, spoiler alert, you can plug your, plug your ears for because I'm going to do it at the end of the year again. Okay, uh, It's by Shel Silverstein. If you're, if you're not familiar in the book, the boy initially is very reliant on the giving, giving tree for daily needs and entertainment. But as he gets older, he becomes more independent and visits the tree less often. And often when he does, it's only when he's in need of something from the tree. The tree gives everything, her apples, branches, and trunk, to help the boy throughout his life to, point where, to the point where the tree is left with nothing but her stump. At the end of the book, the boy has grown old and comes back to the tree with this exchange. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. Oh, but my teeth are too weak for the apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing for them. I am too old to swing from the branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, and you cannot climb me. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest, and I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is a good place for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did, and the tree was happy. As you all go on to achieve great things in great places, I would encourage you all to remember your giving tree, never forget your giving tree, uh, and take time to visit your giving tree. Thank you for having me speak tonight, and congratulations to our, all our new and existing inductees tonight. Thank you, Mr. Lehman. We so appreciate your words of wisdom this evening. At this point in our program, we would like to recognize our new and current members. To our new junior members, as your name is read, please come forward to receive your certificate of membership. We ask that all juniors stand now. Please come forward to the stage, maintaining some social distance, and follow in a continuous line up the staircase to the stage as your names are read. Please come forward as directed by our honor ushers. Anika Arifin. Fatima Atia. Vivian Bean. Daniel Boutain. Aubrey Clark. Isaac Cody. Jaren Dufault. Ellen Erickson. Nathaniel Fiddle, Alexis Iverson, Gretchen Kraut, <laughs> Lauren Lebo, Anna Lean, Maria Lim, Spring Ma. John Martin, Taylor Martin, Aria Panwalker, Mallory Pladson, Nicolette Rogney, Madeline Rorick, Alex Rude, Colette Smith, Isaiah Sori, Erica Spanger, Julia Steiner, Jocelyn Sweet. Carissa Swanson, Natalie Severson, Jack Thiel, Carolyn Walker, Alexander Wagner, 
Luke Yoakum. Junior members, please rise and turn to face our guests. Guests, will you please join me in congratulating our new junior members. Thank you, juniors. You may all be seated. The gold honor cords presented to our new and current senior members this evening will signify the honor students of the class of 2021 at graduation. Seniors, please stand at this time. As we read your names, please come forward and receive your honor cord and certificate of membership. Reese Anderson, Maggie Benson, Tanya Berg, Aiden Carlson, Grace DeYoung, Kennedy Folden, Trissa Grandy, Bo Hager, Addison Hammes, Chase Hansen, Sam Haar, Isabel Haugen, Samantha Jackson, Hannah Johnson, Leah Johnson, Michael Johnson, Kimberly Cattermas, Ryan Canelli, Mickey Kenny, Kylie Kleiner, William Lindahl, Anna Shell Luz, Ryan Manley, Allison Melby, Megan Middaw, Georgia Paul, Isabel Poole, Jordan Punt, Vanessa Renicki, Julia Ross, Samantha Sanford, Abby Simonson, Brooke Swanson, Alexander Yuganoff, Rebecca Van Vliet. Oh, I know it's going that fast. My bad. Ryan Dutch, <laughs> Addison Watson, Elizabeth Wiest, Joshua Worrell, Caleb Yoakum. Will the senior members of National Honor Society please rise and turn to face our guests to be recognized? Congratulations. Will you now jo join me in welcoming our principal, Mr. Dolan? Well, good evening. Again, I'd like to offer our congratulations on behalf of our North High uh, faculty and staff. It's quite an honor. It's the highest honor that we can bestow upon you. And when we take a look at our seniors and our juniors that are earned this award, you've been thrown a curveball since last March where you had to deal with a pandemic. You lost a lot of your spring activities. Earlier in the year, you had a hybrid model. You were adjusted well, but at the same time, it's been difficult. But you've accepted that challenge, so I want to just congratulate you. And I also want to thank, uh, give you, me this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about some things that I think you need to look at in the future. You know, we have uh, taken on this global pandemic, gotten a vaccine within about a year, and we're still struggling with masks and struggling with social distancing and struggling with just the virus. And I just want to say uh, that in the future, you're going to be in those same type of positions. One pandemic 
happens occasionally. Um, and again, you're going to have to be prepared for that opportunity down the road. And you'll, you'll accept that challenge in years to come as well. But you also think about the social injustices that have happened over the your past year and a half. Just recently, the, the, the trial for the George Floyd murder is on. And with regards to stepping up when, when people need to step up, you need to be that type of person. So I want to make sure that you leave North High School with the ability to make a difference. Some of you will be mayors, some of you will be teachers, some of you will accept the other challenges in your life. But again, make sure that you step up when it's need a voice, need a voice to, to accept that challenge. So again, I want to congratulate you. It's a quite an honor. I want to also thank our two advisors, Emily and uh, Joan. Uh, they've been longtime teachers here at North High School. Not only do you do a good job with this program, but you do the job daily. So I want to thank you for those efforts. I also want to thank my admin team. You know, I'm leaving after 40 years in education, and you don't do these types of jobs with good support people. And so I want to thank my admin team of Mark, Kathy, and Travis. I don't know if you heard today, but Travis is named my successor. And so I want to offer my congratulations. And uh, you know, and I'm a little bit bigger, so I have bigger shoes to fill. So, uh, but you'll do a great job. I'm very excited for your opportunities. And I also want to thank our Booster Club. Tonight there will be a reception following this. And again, I want to thank the Booster Club, the PTSA that has also been a part of our staff and a part of our tradition here at North High School. And then tonight, I also get to thank the parents and the grandparents that are here. Um, you know, without a lot of your guidance, things wouldn't necessarily happen. So I want to just thank you. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons why we have one of the best schools in the state. So again, thank you very much for attending tonight, and uh, God bless. Thank you, Mr. Dolan. On behalf of the members of North High's National Honor Society and our advisors, Mrs. Schneider and Ms. Clark, we wish you all the best in your upcoming retirement and we want to express our gratitude for your commitment to ensuring that all the students at North High are successful. Thank you to our families and friends, both in the audience and live streaming our program this evening, who have supported all of our endeavors at North and to our special guests for sharing this evening with us. Our gratitude goes to our honor ushers, Brooklyn Champagne and Julia Poole. We thank Phil Godel and the tech crew and Greg Schultz and our string ensemble who helped us make this ceremony special tonight. Although not in the theater at this time, we do want to thank Jeremy Bladeau and Lucas Hogue and the rest of the custodial crew for all of their assistance. A special thank you to our North High Boosters Club for honoring our members tonight and for their commitment to our school and all of its programs. Mr. Lehman, thank you for sharing your wisdom with us tonight. Mr. Dolan, Dr. Seaslack, Mr. Blanchin, and Mr. Christensen, thank you from the members of National Honor Society for all you do for our school. After you leave the theater, the Booster Club has a treat for each of you. We will now invite our stage guests to leave first and follow our honor ushers. Honor Society members will follow and then the rest of the audience. This concludes our ceremony. Congratulations to all members of the North High Chapter of the National Honor Society.